Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is you're picking yourself up and moving forward. You are picking yourself up and moving forward. And I've got two scripture references today. The first one is Galatians 6, 9, and it reads, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. And the second scripture reference is 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. And it reads, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. So what the Holy Spirit is speaking today is that I know many of you are going through this right now where you're feeling um, really kind of down and just like, um, you know, you're, you're allowing the enemy to get in your head and just make you question your decisions. You know, have I, am I on the right track? Um, you know, am I hearing the Lord correctly? And the Holy Spirit wants you to know today, yes, you are on the right track. You have heard him correctly. And the very fact that you're feeling this way just shows that you're close to a breakthrough. Um, you know, it says in Galatians 6, 9, don't get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So the Lord is telling you to just keep pushing, keep pushing forward. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've had so many... Um, <laughs> like counterfeits just like showing up left and right and just you know that along with the fact that I have been feeling like mentally attacked lately and you know even feeling like giving up sometimes and just you know second guessing what the Lord is doing but that's all lies from the enemy and we need to rebuke it in the name of Jesus and know that whenever these things are coming at you, you need to remember what the Lord's already done for you and what he's already doing in your life and keep moving forward in your purpose. Like don't let anything or anyone distract you and get you off your purpose to delay you. Because usually when you feel the most resistance, is when you are right at that breakthrough. And as I'm saying that, it makes me think of childbirth. You know, I don't know how many of you out there, how many of you women have given children, but when the pressure is the worst, that's right before the baby comes. And of course we know when that baby is born, you know, it's very rare that we think about the pain of childbirth. Because many of you who've had one child you know, you don't even think about that when you think about having a second child because the actual um, joy of the child makes the whole process worth it. And so that's what the Holy Spirit's saying today is that it's a process and it's all going to be worth it. And you just need to keep moving forward. You just need to stay in motion. Don't stall out. Don't, you know, don't drop out of the race now. You've come too far to give up, you know, you just need to keep going. And really, what are what are your options? Like, you want to go back to how you used to live? You want to go back to sin cycles? You want to go back to letting the enemy, you know, um, you know, influence your thoughts to the point where it actually does influence your actions? Of course, now he tries, but we know his playbook. We know when the enemy is attacking us. And we just rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And we bind those, you know, entities and we cast them away. But, you know, you just need to keep moving forward, even when it doesn't feel good. Like an athlete, you know, when an athlete is training, when they're in training, 
and they're having a bad day, do they just stay in bed all day? No, they push through and we're soldiers for Christ. And in our assignment, we need to continue to push forward as the Lord calls us, even when we always don't necessarily feel like it. So pick yourself up and move forward. Keep moving forward in your purpose. You're 10 toes down in your purpose. Don't let anything get you off track. So I'm not sure who this is for today, who needed to hear this pep talk, but just know that the Lord is so proud of you and he's with you. He's rooting for you. He's right there with you. He says, be still and know that I am God. You know, stop overthinking everything let go and let God release it to him. You don't have to carry these burdens, you know, just release it to him. He's with you. He's, he wants to take these burdens from you and he's rooting you on in the race. He says, don't give up. You're so close. You know, when you feel that resistance, when, you know, the counterfeits are coming at you, when the, and that could be anything, people, business opportunities, um, any number of things but you know when the enemy is like pushing back at you and that's because he knows that you're so close to your breakthrough so don't give up keep pushing forward and it's all going to be worth it it's all going to be worth it when you allow things to unfold the way the lord intends them to unfold his plans are to prosper you and not harm you as it's written in jeremiah 29 11. so again just know that I pray for all of you every day. I want to thank all of you who've sown into the ministry. I pray that the Lord increase your seed a thousandfold. If you feel the Holy Spirit's leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. And just know that I pray for all of you every day that the right people receive these messages. I pray these messages edify the body of Christ and that they spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. So just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.